We've got a question around deploying Teams. Are there any benefits in deploying Teams as a Win32 app instead of including it in the Microsoft 365 suite? So control is one. Uh, we've talked a little bit about, in the last couple of weeks, actually, even deploying the M365 suite itself um, as a Win32 app rather than using the built-in uh, Microsoft 365 apps um, uh, application type. So we have a couple of links that we can share around that. Um, oh, I'm trying. We just had this conversation, and, and my brain is failing me right now. Um, no, but this was basically around folks having trouble getting it reliably installed as part of the Microsoft 365 apps. And, and for those folks that had been using as a standalone uh, to basically solve that problem. Yes, thank you. Yeah, two weeks ago, uh, we, we discussed this a little bit. Um, and it looks like we shared, I can share these again for today, but uh, we shared a blog post from uh, our friend Matthias Melkerson. Do you have it up on your screen? I will throw it up right now. As long as it'll load. There we go. Uh, so on building those M365 apps as Win32 apps, including additional apps for Visio project um, installs, uninstalls, all that. And then we had um, another post that we shared on deploying the new Teams client um, from Florian and cleaning up the old Teams client as well. And this was as a Win32 app. And it did seem like, to your point, Johan, the general consensus was uh, folks were getting a little bit more consistency with this method and reliability. That's too mention it. I think I saw something on, on Twitter just the corner of my eye earlier about a new unified Teams install for both PCs and Mac, so you can roam in between the two, but I have no more details than that. So Interesting. Something that showed up. 